This is a demonstration of my newly completed 30 amp portable EV, EVSC. Uh, this has a short input cable uh, just like the stock Nissan Leaf charger does. I'm using a NEMA 1450 uh, Easy Grip plug from Camco. They make some fantastic RV products. Uh, this is running uh, Chris's version 2 Open EVSC board from the Open EVSC store. Uh, it's running uh, 30 amp Potter and Brumfield relays and a uh, green backlit display. Um, this is meant to hang up uh, vertically like uh, a stock one. So that is why the button, although it is metal, waterproof, and uh, has a ring O-ring on it, I decided to put it on the bottom instead of the face uh, to give it a little cleaner look as well as to help with the uh, waterproofing. We are currently set up uh, with uh, 30 amp charging and I'm going to go ahead and plug in the whip into the Nissan Leaf. You hear the Leaf connects and starts charging. The counter will tell you how long you've been charging for. Um, this firmware is the same between the different versions of the board. So you're going to see something. This is actually uh, the clock in the real-time clock version. Um, the board does support the RGB with real-time clock uh, display. Um, that display is, oh, it's uh, quite a bit more money than uh, this display and then the amperage reading. That's because the version 3 board uh, supports, with an optional current transformer, it does support amperage reading right in the uh, display. Um, it's for another, uh, you're into it for another $35 between the board and the current transformer. So those are what those are for. Um, we're gonna press and hold the button here. We can see our uh, service level is automatic on this one. It will do 120 or 240 volts. You just heard a click because it's just exited out of charging because I did that. You can force it to level one or two, but it's just best to leave it in auto. Maximum current is dialed in right here. Currently have it th set for uh, 30. This is on level two. The level one and level two are memorized separately, which is really convenient. I customized the firmware so you can do this in um, two-step increments until you get up to 30 amps and then it cycles back around. Um, we don't go higher than that because this whip and the relays are only uh, rated for 30 amps um, as well as the input cable although this plug is actually rated at 50 and that's because that's the very common RV uh, plug that you find or RV plug that you find uh, that will plug in um, in the RV parks. Now we're going to put this all the way up to 30. The plus means that's what the setting is uh, currently at. There's uh, several safety checks. These are called the advanced power features. There's a diode check, vent required, ground check, and GFI self-test. All these can be disabled if need be for diagnostic testing. And then there's where you set the uh, date and time and the delay timer uh, in, uh, in case you were uh, using the real-time RGB display, which we are not. And then we can restart or we can just exit. Now we have to reinitiate our charging session. And then it says it's EV connected. Um, let's see. Now you can also use an adapter cable. These I sell separately. This uses a standard 120 volt, what we call a 5-15 R pl uh, plug, and then this is the uh, female NEMA 1450 outlet. This allows you to connect this EVSC to a standard 124, 120 volt outlet out in the field, and then uh, charge off of uh, that. You can dial in the amperage to uh, whatever the circuit can take. Um, it is possible to plug this into a 20 amp 
because this is a uh, 12 gauge uh, 20 amp rated uh, molded on plug adapter. So I will stop charging and you'll have to see the next video for the 120 volt demonstration. Thank you.